And I remember I really had to take that to, to change my mentality going into that fight. And I did. And so if you see that fight compared to any of my other ones, especially the Ultimate Fighter fights, it was a totally different approach. And if yeah. I didn't have that, I definitely I, – I, I wouldn't have won because the chance of me getting Georgie down would be brutal. I mean, and I would have got ta- – and the worst thing you know, Mike, is trying to get a takedown and not getting it and then you're exhausted. Yeah. And yeah. So it's weird, man. It was like a coming out party and I had the element of surprise because he thought I was just going to try to take him down. So the fact that I was making it – it felt like a sparring session. Mike, you ever have one of those fights that it just feels like a good sparring session? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you just yep. – like in the zone, and that, and that's exactly how it. I seen all the strikes coming, like it was like the Matrix. Like because Longo had him, he's like, dude, he does this karate high kick. He does this. Longo yeah. was showing me all this. He's not that. So he was showing me how to like take everything away, and it was like I was seeing it. And just like the second re- the rematch was like a bad day of sparring. This was like yeah. an excellent day of sparring, <laughs> and because of my change of philosophies and, and strategies, and and my belief in my stand up through. The rounds I clocked in over at Longo's, it ended yeah. up being a great night.